Hello Rust developers and welcome to another Gazebo in 5 minutes video provided by The Construct, a channel about Rust. I am Marco Huda and today you'll learn how to use Joint State Publisher so you can test more effectively your robots model. Okay? But before anything else, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you'll find practical online Rust courses using simulated robots. No installation is required and you'll find a link to the academy on the video description. So now let's start with the video. Uh, that's gonna be the, uh, the 11th video of the series. So let's open the latest one, which was number 10. And we're gonna start from it. Let's wait a few seconds until the environment's ready. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one for free and start using ROSDS for free. Uh, just following the link in the description of the video. So let's start opening the IDE so we can check the code that we have uh, since the previous video. I'm gonna put it bigger and also let's keep it open one shell and the graphical tools. It's gonna be useful for us in this video. So let's start spawning the robot. Actually not spawning the robot but opening Arvis so we can visualize our robot model. So it means that you have to launch ROS launch my robot description Arvis.launch file. There it is, just press enter. And in a matter of seconds you're gonna see Arvis add the graphical tools. So in the meantime go to the IDE and open the simulation workspace source folder inside of our package my robot description you can open the launch file rvs.launch and we can check that actually we already have the joint state publisher running but in the backgrounds because as you can see we have a parameter here for the graphical user interface and it's set to false just change it to true and in the graphical tools uh, you can see the robot model right here. Just kill it, control C on the shell, launch it again. And now uh, we are gonna have Arvis and another window here. You may have seen it before or maybe not, but that's the joint state publisher, okay? So if you remember well, uh, some videos ago, we have, uh, let's open the URDF model, robot.urdf. We have created a joint and also another link. So we have the chases of the robot and something that I'm calling the arm of the robot. Okay. So as you can check here, we have uh, the main red box. We're calling it the chases. And this, uh, this kind of uh, prisma here on the left side of the robot, I'm calling it an arm. So you can change the values of the position of the of the joint position and as you can see the second link of the robot is moving around okay so you can center the link to its original position or just randomize to check it all the possibility that you may have in this joint okay so let's do a quick test for example we have to restart of course and I have just a suggestion here I want to change a bit while, in this case I'm changing the position of the joint of the robot. So instead of moving the arm around its own center, I want to move it around, uh, let's let's say we have a shoulder over there. So let's, I have just changed it. Uh, you can clone my Rojek in the future, just following, I'm gonna put it a link on the description of the video also to share my, my project. So. Let's just, I'm just copying and pasting here. I have saved the file, don't forget to do it. Control S or just file and save right here. And restart everything. You have to relaunch Arvis. And in the graphical tools, you can see that the arm is quite different. So the original position is different than it was before. And the joint state publisher, now if you change the values, the arm is, uh, is rotating not around the, the center of the arm, but around a kind of a shoulder for this thing that we are calling a robot, okay? So that's it for today. 
I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you liked the video, please give a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day, either you like it or not. Please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. See you!